Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is how to build your own magic kit. All right, so in this video, I wanna show you uh, how to put together your own magic kit for kids, okay? So um, it's the gift giving season right now, at least for me, and so I, there was a couple of kids on my wish list that I wanted to uh, get magic kits for. And the problem that I ran into, and probably the problem that you're running into, is uh, there are magic sets out there on the internet or in the stores, and uh, for one, they're really expensive. They're really expensive for what they are. And second, uh, you don't really know what's inside of it. A lot of times they'll say 50 tricks included or 100 tricks included. And it's a little bit uh, deceptive because what they're doing is they're, they're gonna bring you a deck of cards and they're counting that as 25 tricks. You know, they're saying, oh, we gave you instructions for 25 tricks. And the other part of that is a lot of those instructions that come with those kits are really convoluted and hard to explain. Uh, sometimes they'll even give you a DVD and it's just not well produced. And so, uh, you know, there's expense, there's the mystery of what you're getting in the box, and then there's the added mystery of, is this gonna be good quality? Is this the kind of magic my kid wants to do? Because right now, a lot of kids, their heroes, you know, are Dynamo and David Blaine and Chris Angel. And the truth is, the magic they're watching on TV is not the magic they're gonna get in their magic kit. So what do you do? How do you build your own magic set? Okay, so first off, you'll need a box. And I guess you could do this one of two ways. Uh, you could find all the stuff that you're gonna put in the box and then find a box that fits it. That would probably make more sense, but that's not the way I did it. <laughs> uh, or you could find a box and then just fill it with stuff. So I found these boxes at Walmart and couldn't pass them up because it actually says the word magic on it, right? So it was the holiday season when I picked these up. These are tins, okay, so that's really cool. Uh, they're about the size of an eight and a half by 11, which I thought that'll work if I type up in some instructions. It says believe in the magic, and it's just a pop-off lid. Uh, like I said, I found these at Walmart. They're really cheap, they're on an end cap, um, but I guess you could go to Hobby Lobby or someplace like that uh, where you could look for a cute box that would actually be sturdy. My kid got a Chris Angel magic set like a long time ago. Comes in the same kind of box that you'd put like a board game in, but probably not as well put together. Even though there was like a plastic tray in there where all the vacuum form uh, holes were, you could put all the tricks back, it never went back in that box. We ended up getting him another box for all of his stuff anyway. So find yourself a box. Okay, so what do you put in your box? All right, so I have the advantage of actually being a magician. So I realize that not everyone who watches this might not have the same knowledge as me. I'll do my best to help you and I'll put some links below in the description uh, to try to guide you in the right direction. And of course, if you ask me questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Uh, so what I put inside of my magic box at first glance might not look exactly magical, okay? So the first thing I did was I made sure that all of my kids got a brand new deck of bicycle playing cards. Uh, that for me is a must. Number one, uh, they're a standard deck, so they're gonna look like any other deck, so they won't draw suspicion. And number two, I know they're well made. Most card decks that come inside of a magic kit are cheap garbage decks from China, okay? You wanna get a good deck of bikes. Uh, this might even be one of the most expensive things in the, in the entire box. I think, you know, a standard deck of bikes might be around $3. So just make sure you get a really good deck of cards that'll last them a long time. Next up, I put a couple things in my magic kit that you might not think are magical items, like really thick rubber bands. Why would I do that? Well, I actually know a lot of rubber band tricks and I think they might be really fun for kids. So I made sure I got the nice thick uh, rubber bands and then uh, I'm gonna show you uh, the instructions for them a little bit later in the video. But yeah, I got them rubber bands. <laughs> uh, another thing that I got that was a household item is I got a crystal pen. Now, pens are good for magicians because A, you write with them a lot of times, but I know a lot of pen tricks also. And being another household item, again, I know it's not a magical item, like why would I put it in there? But I know like five or six tricks with a pen and I wanna teach uh, the kids in my life uh, how to do them, so I wanted them, them to have their own pen. Next up, every magic kit comes with a thumb tip and a silk. And they're not always the best quality. And so I got mine from a magic house. And like I said, I'll put all the descriptions and links below just so that you have access to them and just to show you where I got them. And I made sure I got a child size thumb tip, okay? And so that's just, uh, that's, I think that's important. I think a lot of times uh, you'll get those kits and they won't have a child size thumb tip. And so this is a legitimate thumb tip, legitimate uh, silk square. And again, these are pennies. These are so, so, so cheap. Also, what I think a lot of magic kits fail to put in is a magic wand. 
and this is a good one. It's solid, it's got brass tips, and it was really cheap. It's very inexpensive when you buy it from a magic store. I think every kid expects to get a magic wand, and I've never seen a magic kit come with one. And so I made sure that our kids got a magic wand. Okay, so as far as putting gimmicks and gaffs inside of your kit, uh, you can't go wrong with Royal Magic. Royal Magic makes a lot of the props uh, that you would normally find in a magic kit, but they make them way better, and like I said, they're pennies, they're dollars a piece. Uh, you're gonna get way better quality tricks than the ones you find at the dollar store if you use the links that I put in the description. You could go to the dollar store and get those, I'm just saying they won't be as nice, okay? So, ball and vase is one of the tricks you'll find always in a magic kit. However, this ball and vase is really well made. This trick is called Wonder Blocks, and it's a little black tube with three colored beads, and the kid will put the beads into the tube one at a time, like red, white, blue, and when they turn the a tube, the beads fall out in a different pattern. So that's a pretty cool trick. Royal Magic has their own version of the two-card Monty, and the neat thing about their uh, gaff cards is that they are the standard red bicycle backs. So they will go with the deck that I gave them and the cards that are included in here could be used for other magic tricks as well. This is a really great trick called Viz Escape and it comes with a little red sleeve and a little black uh, pop, uh, hot dog shaped piece. Uh, you stick the one inside the other and you stick a brad through it and then uh, you try to give it to your spectator and they can't take the black piece out but then when they give it to you it slides right out. It's a great optical illusion. Another really fun one is the Sure Shot Dice Box. Uh, it's a little plastic box, looks like this. And on the inside, there's a couple of dice. Uh, this, your child can give this out and have anyone put the dice inside of it with any numbers up. And when your child shakes it, the dice numbers that they want will appear. Another thing I put in was a little book of instructions. Now granted, I made this. So, I mean, yeah, this is the advantage that I have of being a magician. And so I made sure that they had instructions for rubber bands and pens, deck of cards, thumb tip. There's tricks inside of this that they can do with the stuff that's in their box. Now, uh, I, I, I know obviously that, you know, not everyone can write their own magic book. So I'll put some links below in the description of some magic books that you can buy. These magic books will include way more tricks uh, than your child could ever learn in a, in a year. And the other great thing about it is uh, there'll be tricks inside those books that they can use for other household items. Way more card tricks and, and these books are way better than any set of instructions that'll come with a standard deck of magic tricks. All right, and the last thing I put in um, my kit was a DVD, okay? I put in a DVD. And uh, you can actually find uh, free DVDs, free children's instructional DVDs from Penguin Magic. And I'll put those descriptions in the link below as well. Um, they're probably gonna be video downloads, and so you'll have to download the entire video and then burn it to a disc. Uh, you'll have to do that yourself. But again, this is pretty much a DIY kit anyway. So you'll burn that to a disc and you can put that in the box as well. And then your child will have a DVD instruction that they can watch. Again, filled with tons of tricks that they can do with all the things that are in their box and just get a wonderful uh, experience. And I think something that's more personal like this, something that you build, something that you create, I think will go so much farther with the child being receptive to it and loving it. And I think it'll further enhance their uh, knowledge and their desire to become a magician. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Like I said, I'll put all the links below in the description. I'll do my best to answer any questions that you might have about putting together your own kit. And if your child has you know, certain desires or certain wishes or certain interests, I'll do my best to find the answers for you. Thanks, bye.